This video is on hashing file analysis. Hashing is one of the most critical techniques for ensuring files integrity. Hashing algorithm creates a checksum, which is basically a unique fingerprint of a specific file. MD5 and SHA-256 are hashing algorithm examples that you will come across as an analyst. And to get a file hash, you can simply use Windows PowerShell and type get file hash, which is a command that gets hash of a file. To get to PowerShell, just simply type PowerShell on your Windows search, and from there, type get tech file hash location of the file, for example, etc. file.doc. Here is an example of hash on an image from a computer. You can specify a specific cryptographic hash function as well by typing tech algorithm. By default, SHA-256 is utilized. You can also include input stream, literal path, and path. When you get a hash of a file and that file gets changed in any way afterwards, the hash value of that file is gonna change. And this is how you know that file that you once knew before has been tampered with. Hash creates a fixed length value. So no matter how big or small your file may be, it's gonna create the same length value. This way you don't need to review the whole file from scratch. Other hashing options you have on Windows are Cert Util, File Checksum Integrity Verifier, Sig Check, Hash My Files, and Hash Check. Hash value shows that the file is genuine and can also be used to match a database of known malware. Most malware has a certain value of hash, and you can use tools to see if it matches up with anything on malware repositories like VirusTotal or Mailshare. Also, hash allows us to initiate tracking down what has changed and what processes it created.